Hi, thanks for stopping by. Uh, today we're going to wrap up our look at the ArtRage 4 new features with the stylus. You can look at the stylus properties or you can look at the stylus recognition. Well, not or, you can do both. Uh, you can only do both if you have a tablet and stylus that can't be recognized by ArtRage 4. So we'll get more into that later. So with the stylus properties, you can look at how it can control the pressure and the pressure tracks how hard you will press on the surface uh, with your stylus and you control your pressure in the tool settings panel and you can increase or decrease the amount of pressure and the effect it has as you're drawn on the canvas. Also with the stylus you can control the tilt and not really control it but you're really tracking the, the angle of the stylus relative to the, the surface of your tablet. And also along with that, you can track the tilt angle. And that means the rotation angle, because while we're drawing, our hand twists and turns with our drawing instrument, in this case the stylus, and that can be tracked also. Now if you have airbrush stylus, it has an additional wheel control, uh, which you can make use of. And also with the twist, um, because you may twist your stylus from time to time, that can be tracked also as you rotate it around, around the point. All right, now let me show you how you can access this control, all this amazing control you will have. You know, access in the Stylus Properties panel. And to get there, whatever tool you have selected, you open the Settings panel, you go up to the Preset block, and you get the drop-down menu for that, and you see it has Set Stylus Properties. So let's click on that, and here you see I can select the pen pressure, because this is for oil brush, uh, the airbrush wheel, and the pen twist. Now, I don't have an airbrush stylus, so this has no effect on me. Uh, nothing I can do uh, there. Now, also, when you see a plus sign, that means there's another setting that you can add. So when you click on it, you can see that now for this one, you have size, aspect, and rotation. Okay, but I have nothing, so... Uh, I'm just going to click cancel. Now let's go down to the watercolor brush and click in the preset, set stylus properties. And here I only have pen pressure and airbrush wheel. Again, I have another setting under pen pressure. So let's click and see what we have here. So we have thinners and color bleed. So that's with the watercolor brush. Okay, let's jump down to the actual airbrush tool and see what we have here. So here you have pen pressure, airbrush wheel, and tilt angle available. And you have more uh, things available under pen pressure and airbrush wheel. And now let's just take a quick look at the ink pen. And you can look at the rest on your own. So here we have airbrush wheel and pen twist. That's the options or the properties that you can uh, change, make settings for. So all these settings that I've shown you are what will affect that property for that particular tool. Oh, so now not all settings can be modified by the stylus properties. Some are locked due to the nature of the way ArtRage works. So you can't modify those at all. Also, if you notice, there's, there was an X, there's an X, and that means you can delete that setting. Now, the property it was assigned to will no longer affect that setting. Okay, and that is uh, what you can do with the Stylish Properties panel. Some graphic tabics support ArtRage's ability to recognize individual styluses. And you take care and you take advantage of that in the ArtRage um, stylus control center and you access that in the same fashion from settings uh, the preset box and stylus control center so up that pops and now we have uh, here different options now I only have I'm currently using an intervals 5 in the supplied stylus uh, so um, I don't have any other airbrush or the other uh, tools so it'll be kind of hard for me to show you uh, exactly what happens, but basically um, it recognizes the stylus. So the first time 
you bring the stylus to the tablet, it recognizes it. So let's say I wanted to have this recognized uh, for the ink pen, so I'll call it the Intuos. And click OK. So now that stylus is, is it's really named, it's already identified because it's, it's the only one I have. Now over here you have a lock, so now every time you use the ink, the ink and pen, whatever you have set in the settings over here will remain. And this is to assign current settings, and this is to clear current settings. So I just wanted to force it to do that before you uh, lock it or, or choose um, another option. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much all I can show you since I only have one tool. It doesn't matter. So even if I change the tool, this is all that the Stylus Control Center will let you, uh, let you do. So here I have check keep track of the styluses. So if I do untrack, then it won't keep track of the stylus. So that's pretty easy. And you have low stylus setup and save stylus setup and clear settings. All right, so that's all we can cover for today with styluses. I only had two. That completes a look at the stylus properties, which are basically the pressure, tilt, and rotation. And if you have an airbrush, it will look at the airbrush wheel also. And our incomplete look at the stylus recognition. Uh, since I only have one stylus, can't really do that great a demo on it. Um, I do have a bamboo uh, connect, but it doesn't recognize that stylus. So, uh, so if I do get if I do get a second uh, stylus in the future, then I'll revisit this um, as I continue um, to look at ArtRage Four. Thank you for stopping by. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I'd like to know what you think. And remember, go out and just create. Bye.